What's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. It's Lydia. Thanks for tuning in and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. I will love you if you do. But as you could tell, I just jammed out to Hakuna Matata and I'm just trying to get into my kid self because as you could tell by the title, I am going to be doing my full curly hair routine using only kids products. Yes, I said it, using only kids products. Now I've seen this like challenge go around in like the makeup community so I figured why not try it with my curly hair um but yeah so enough with my rambling my hair is already washed now but i'm gonna show you guys what i used in the shower Alrighty, y'all so when i went to sally's they didn't really have any good sulfate free shampoo and conditioners in stock so i had to stick with the coconut and hibiscus two-in-one shampoo and conditioner from their kids line i'm not a huge fan of how the coconut and hibiscus line smells but i figured i would just put up with it for the sake of this video but now my hair is just nice and wet and i'm splitting it in half and clipping up the top section so then when i apply the shampoo and conditioner it's easy to apply and you see me right Right here I'm saying a quick little prayer because I want this whole thing to work but I'm just squeezing out some of this two-in-one product and I'm just gonna distribute it through my hair and smooth and rake it in and just to let y'all know this product actually was really easy to glide through my hair and I was actually really happy with it but um, and now I'm just twisting that one side of my hair that I put the two-in-one product in and I'm just gonna take the top half and do kind of the same thing split it in half and then apply the product into my hair again. And once the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner is evenly distributed through my hair, I'm just going to clip up my hair and then um, normally I like to go in with deep conditioners, but since I don't really have one, I figured I would just take a shower cap and put it over my hair to let the conditioner part of this product penetrate through my hair a little bit more. But um, yeah, now I'm just going to wait about five minutes or so and just, you know, do all of the rest of my shower business, go wash my body, all of that other stuff. And then right Right here is what my hair looks like afterwards like if you can see it's nice and shiny but um, I'm just clipping my hair up one more time for like the third time I've already done this but this is what I normally do I just clip my hair up and then take a t-shirt and I will be good to go so I will see you guys again in like two seconds and yeah, so that's basically what I used to shampoo and condition my hair. I was honestly pretty impressed. The smell wasn't as bad, um, at least for that particular product. I know with like the curling smoothie and the, the jelly souffle thing, that smell is just too pungent for me. But the shampoo slash conditioner two-in-one thing, not too bad. So before we begin, comment down below and let me know if you guys think my curls are going to be popping or if they're going to be looking like a hot mess. I'm kind of curious. So pause the video, comment down below and let me know and then we'll keep it going. So I just took my hair out of the t-shirt and I'm going to go in with this super detangling spray slash leave-in conditioner. I normally don't go in with like sprays beforehand but then at the same time I normally don't use kids curly hair products on my hair. So you know what? Why not try something a little bit different but I'm still going to use the same technique in terms of like applying the products like the curly hair products to my hair. Just going to spray it my hair all over no rhyme or reason okay to be honest this feels like i'm just spraying water in my hair so i'm just gonna stop um but now let me just section my hair like i normally do and we'll get to putting this product in my hair i'm just gonna spray my hair make sure each section is nice and wet you know the usual routine so now that my hair is nice and wet i'm gonna go in with the curly kids custard for kids um and just take in a little bit more than a quarter sized amount this product is like not as slimy as some of the other curling jellies or custards that i've used so i mean that's not too too bad i mean i think what that just tells me is that there probably won't be that much hold which honestly it isn't that isn't a terrible thing as long as it gives me like defined curls that will last that's all i really care about um so i'm just gonna keep doing my hair like i normally do it and then i'll check in with you guys if i notice anything weird going on or once i get to this like middle back section of my hair that tends to be really difficult for me so let's just get to doing my hair And just to let you all know, this product actually glided in through this back section of my hair really easily. And I think it's just because it was so watery, my hair kind of just soaked it up really nicely. But just wanted to let you guys know this product didn't give me that much of a hard time in this back section of my hair. And yeah, that's pretty much 
skin. I'm not gonna lie, it feels really weird that I'm not going in with my Design Essentials Curl Control Spray, but that's not really a kid's product, so I figured I would be fair, I would stick true to using kid's products only, and yeah, I mean, with just the custard alone, it looks good, but it's hard to really make any real judgments on my hair right now just because it's soaking wet, so I'm gonna let my hair air dry, and then I'll check in with you all once my hair is a little bit more dry. One eternity later. Like this looks pretty freaking great. The only thing that I can say is that I, I think because I had to go in with a lot of product um, to make sure that it had enough hold, my hair feels like really weighed down. I don't know if you guys can see, it's just like very, very flat. But that's also because day one hair for me tends to be a little bit more flat. But once I go to bed tonight, I'll probably put my hair up in like a little satin skirt scarf slash ponytail um, pineapple situation and usually by that that'll help create a little bit more volume when I take it out in the morning so I mean right now what are you guys thinking of my hair does it look good does it look bad or what well, what y'all thinking I think it honestly doesn't look that bad I'm really curious to see what it looks like tomorrow morning once I take it out of my little ponytail slash pineapple so um I'm just gonna chill and hang around and I will see you guys tomorrow What's up y'all? So it's the next morning and I just took my hair out of my pineapple and I sprayed it with some of this like detangling slash conditioning spray from the Curly Kids line. Um, and honestly, my hair did not turn out that bad. I don't know if I just got lucky or if these products have something going on, but my curls feel defined. They don't feel crunchy at all. I mean, I'm actually thoroughly impressed and these products were really affordable. Like I don't think anything was more than like $5. So um, I, I, may have, I may have, you know, found a couple of favorites to bounce back with but either way this is what my hair looks like you know I want you guys to try this little challenge out pick up some um, kids curly hair products whatever um, use your use it in your hair try it out and see if it works and then like tag me in it try tag me in it on like Instagram Twitter whatever send me your link on YouTube anything and I want to see if you guys have tried this out and if it works for you or if I just got lucky or whatever um, but yeah so I really really hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and hit that subscribe button on your way out i will love you if you do i won't hate you if you don't but i will love you if you do um but thank you again for watching and i will see y'all in the next one peace